You've probably seen or heard them flying overhead. Large air tankers making a regular appearance at the Rogue Valley Airport to help out with fires in our region. Those air tankers are some of the biggest in the country. News 10's Molly Trotters live in Medford with more on how much help these tankers offer. Molly. Dave Trish, I'm here at the Rogue Valley Airport with several air takers flying on a daily basis, filling up and heading back out to big wildfires in our region. Now, two of those are what firefighters call a VLAT, also known as a very large air tanker that's playing a very large role in putting out the flames. It's the kind of backup wildland crews on the ground want to see. Air tankers carrying retardant, giving essential support from the air. We'll need them for a while here. DC-10 air tankers, also known as VLATs, or very large air tankers, can drop about five times more retardant in a single trip. The very large air tankers can carry 11,600 gallons, and the P2V stand behind me here carries 2,082 gallons. So that's, uh, you know, more than five times as much. These tankers have been helping to fight wildland fires for the past two weeks, and right now spending most of their time in Northern California at the Happy Camp Complex fire. During fire season, this part of the tarmac at the Rogue Valley Airport, full of air tankers, flying in and out, refueling, reloading, and then, within minutes, on their way again. <laughs> Firefighters say the VLATs require more resources, but can provide more coverage for larger wildfires. The VLAT can lay a line mile long, five times as long as one of these P2Vs behind me. Air tanker manager Lonnie Allison says, despite their size, the air tankers are quick when they're needed back on the front lines. Airport managers say the runway and ramp reinforcements last year made it possible for these tankers to use the airport. The Medford Airport is the only one in the state that can handle these tankers. Closest other two would be one in Washington, Moses Lake, or, the, or in Sacramento, McClellan. Allison says we could be on a record-setting pace to use the most retardant on fires in a year's time. In a 10-year average, the VLAT will use more than 200,000 gallons of retardant, and so far this year, the Rogue Valley based has used more than 800,000 gallons. It's pretty significant, and we're not done yet. Here's another number. Back in the 80s, the retardant record was 1 million gallons used on fires, and this year, Allison thinks we could be on track to beat that number. Now, here's another something for you. Employees here at, here at the Rogue Valley Airport said that the, the planes move so fast, they haven't even seen it come in, and they've actually been here for two weeks. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Molly, thank you. Now, to get updates on the fires and more information on those air tankers, just download the News 10 app available on Apple and Android devices.